Okay, so this is my interpretation of the paintings of Jackson Pollock, the famous action or drip paintings. Something to say about Jackson Pollock is that he had a bit too cosy a relationship with the old bottle, so get me in the mood. Should have been bourbon really, but whiskey will do. Okay. Here's my canvas on the floor. Let's make some marks. I quite like that. So Jackson Pollock, as I mentioned, had a problem with alcohol and uh, in fact I read somewhere that he took up painting on the suggestion of his therapist to help to deal with the alcohol problem and to express his feelings. In the end he died in a car crash, uh, drunk I think, on his own no other vehicle involved so it probably was the end of it. So there we are. PJB's painting a la Jackson Pollock. Hello again I'm going to have a go now at colour field painting as another style within abstract expressionism and it's pretty obvious from the name what it is. It's just pure colour. And for a bit of light relief, some of the painters added um, just a small bit of detail in a different colour. Some of the artists that painted in this colour field style were Clifford Still, Mark Rothko and Barnett Newman. as you probably have gathered already. This is basically an American style of painting. Taking mostly, taking place while when I was a kid, a lot of it. Although I wasn't aware of it, I was aware that there were pieces like this because the press didn't take very kindly to it. There we go. Colour fill painting. This is the third of my little demos uh, and I have no idea where it's going to go. It's uh, more the general style of abstract expressionism. Some examples would be William de Kooning, uh, Mark Rothko, Joan Mitchell, but there are probably dozens more. Um, William de Kooning is probably one of the better known ones. Okay, to help things along, here's some music from the appropriate era, 1947. Django Reinhardt.
finished? I guess so. In fact, I decided the painting wasn't finished and I did a little more. This is now my painting, Abstract Expressionism.